Hi guys, uh, in today's live stream, I'm going to show you how you can uh, do live stream to YouTube and Facebook uh, using two cameras or multiple cameras. And uh, so for this demonstration, this example, I would be using my DSLR camera, which is Canon 650D and iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, uh, now it doesn't need to be iPhone 7 Plus, it can be any iPhone, uh, but these are the hardwares uh, which are just laying around in your house and you can utilize it to produce a, a professional looking live stream. Uh, so I'll show you exactly how to do it. Uh, the software you're going to need is uh, Exploit uh, and uh, for this demonstration I'm accessing my Mac remotely from my PC. Uh, to capture the iPhone 7 Plus uh, camera uh, so I'm using a tight VNC and now you don't have to do this if if you have got a capture card that is compatible with uh, Mac uh, unfortunately I don't have a capture card that's compatible with Mac so that's why I'm using this uh, uh, software called tight VNC to access the screen uh, of uh, Mac uh, machine uh, so uh, let's just uh, jump into this live stream and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Let me just uh, do a sound check and uh, let me just uh, pause the music as well. So first I'm going to do is a sound test. Okay, so sound seems alright. I'm going to mute the, the music from here, background music. Now, uh, obviously as I said, you don't need to use... Uh, tight VNC in order to access uh, your Mac. If you've got a capture card that's compatible with Mac machine, then uh, that's all you need to capture the DSLR uh, video. Uh, and uh, then obviously I'll show you how to capture the uh, iPhone uh, uh, camera video. So I'll just send you the iPhone camera just to demonstrate to you like uh, how it looks and uh, let me just minimize this and there we go so i'm just gonna send you a different camera image now which is iphone camera so there you go this is my iphone camera now uh, as i said like uh, obviously uh, this live stream uh, i'm doing it at three megabits per second uh, because uh, my home studio uh, that is the internet speed I'm getting here at the moment uh, uh, with multiple cameras and external microphone and background music I would recommend highly recommend uh, to do uh, uh, 720p uh, resolution output from XSplit and uh, uh, you should have minimum 10 megabits per second upload speeds uh, let me go back now to my main DSLR camera so this is how you do the switching you create scenes and then that's how you do switching and stuff uh, so uh, why I'm recommending 10 megabits per second because you're sending multiple streams uh, to the X plate and to the internet then uh, so you need higher upload speeds uh, when I showed you guys if I go back to my uh, iPhone camera as you can see maybe the there are frames dropping at the moment uh, but the thing is this but the thing is this uh, the frames are dropping because I have remote into my Mac and that's why uh, there is a lag uh, but as I said if your uh, iPhone any iPhone is configured directly to your Mac and you're just using your Mac machine to host uh, the uh, stream live stream then you wouldn't see this uh, frame drops so let me just go back and uh, here it goes okay uh, so uh, how I have configured all this I'll show it to you guys and share with you guys as well uh, so let's just uh, start now and uh, first thing is uh, if you haven't watched my previous live streams uh, about how to configure XSplit and DSLR cameras and multiple microphones go ahead do that and how to configure uh, your Facebook account and YouTube account uh, so once you have done that next step is obviously creating scenes on scene one let me just uh, share my desktop with you guys as you can see here uh, there are just scenes right here uh, scene 1, scene 2, scene 3. Uh, so in scene 1 basically I've got my main camera 
uh, my DSLR camera which is connected to my capture card and then my capture card is connected via USB 3.0 to my uh, Dell XPS laptop on scene 2 uh, I have added a desktop uh, like to capture the desktop and uh, ever media uh, which is my capture card uh, so that's why you can see my desktop at the moment and uh, obviously you can see my camera image on the top uh, so uh, scene number three is where I've created the uh, tight VNC image and I've captured uh, where it should just capture the camera uh, image of iPhone so that's the area I'm capturing uh, in scene 3 uh, so I'll show you exactly how I've done that uh, first thing is let me just go back to this camera main camera first thing is get your iPhone and uh, connect it via lightning to USB cable to your Mac machine MacBook Pro or it could be any Mac machine and uh, once you have done that you have to open uh, quick time player uh, so I'll show you how to do that uh, let me just go back here I'm sharing the Mac screen now basically uh, so once you have connected your iPhone once you have connected your iPhone to uh, your uh, Mac machine then just open quick time player go to file and then just click on new movie recording uh, once you do that then this icon will appear uh, this recording icon so just click on the drop down menu right here and uh, select your iPhone camera as camera source uh, so I've selected that microphone I'm not bothered because I'm using an external microphone and obviously I'm not gonna start the recording here so it doesn't matter uh, so uh, with this live stream obviously your main microphone would be the external microphone which you have configured which I'll show you how to do that uh, so I've just selected my audio interface here as my camp, uh, my uh, microphone input. But the most important thing to capture the image of iPhone uh, onto your Mac is open the QuickTime Player, go to File, and New Movie Recording, and then obviously from drop-down menu select audio. Uh, I mean your iPhone camera. Uh, so once you have done that, that's it. You just go in full mode from here, and as I will go full mode obviously now you will see full screen if you want to get rid of this uh, uh, icons appearing on the right hand side and stuff then just press on record and they will disappear uh, now obviously I know this is not uh, the pro way to do it uh, from iPhone but this is the best way I could find if you can do if you want to do multiple camera live stream or like let's say if, if you just want to share something from your iPhone to demonstrate now you can do that like how I configured uh, 720p so I just go in settings and then I just can go into photos and camera and uh, here record video in 720p at 30 frames per second so this is exactly what I would recommend you guys to do as well okay so let me just go back here and press record so that's what we would be seeing uh, so uh, guys it's very simple and uh, now uh, it's very simple uh, like how you could do uh, multiple uh, camera setup uh, video live streams with minimum hardware uh, uh so all hardware wise all i'm utilizing at the moment with this setup as i said you don't need the pc uh if your capture card like uh, if you have like a uh, black magic mini recorder uh capture card with hdmi and sdi and obviously one input would be allowed at one time uh, it doesn't capture uh, two inputs simultaneously uh, but if you have got that type of capture card uh, then obviously you can just connect your iPhone directly to your Mac and then uh, in x -Plate you can create scenes and stuff and then switch between your DSLR camera and iPhone you don't need the PC but unfortunately I don't have uh, a capture card that is compatible with Mac so that's why I have done type B and C way uh, so uh, I have remote into my Mac machine and uh, that's exactly uh, how I am capturing 
the iPhone camera. Uh, okay, and uh, using iPhone camera, I'll just show you uh, like how I've mounted my uh, external microphone, shotgun microphone, uh, onto my DSLR, and uh, how I'm utilizing my Tascam uh, DR70B recorder uh, to send the signal to this capture card right here. Uh, as you can see right here this is the evermedia lgx uh, capture card a uh, good thing about this capture card is it has got mic input and line input uh, so i'll show you what i have done okay so let me just switch to this camera iphone camera so i can show you okay guys as you can see right here this is my Audio Technica microphone. It's uh, AT897, and uh, that's what's capturing my audio right now. This is my Canon uh, DSLR camera 650D, and I've got the Sigma EX uh, 10 to 20 mm lens. This is a wide angle lens. Then I've got the Tascam uh, recorder right here, DR7D. So what I've done, I've taken a line eye output and I've changed uh, the level of it to mic output and this cable, 3.5 mm cable is then basically going into mic input on this capture card and then this capture card uh, is obviously connected via USB to my PC. Uh, for the video capture from my DSLR I have connected a mini uh, HDMI uh, and I'm taking the live uh, output, the live view output via mini HDMI and then obviously that is going to uh, the HDMI input on the capture card. So guys that's how I have uh, basically configured uh, the DSLR camera with my capture card and with my uh, PC so let me just switch back and uh, let me just uh, come to you guys now so I can see whether there is there are any questions or not if not then uh, for later viewers uh, basically if you have got any questions in your mind then please ask me uh, I mean live streaming is becoming really easy nowadays and just utilizing your normal cameras at home you can live stream uh, up to semi pro level uh, so let me just go and check if there are any questions okay all right uh, so guys there are no questions uh, uh, obviously it's uh, monday and a lot of people they are at work but for my later viewers later viewers of this channel if you have uh, any questions in your mind please ask and uh, I'll get back to you in due time uh, regarding your questions uh, okay so let me just do a last okay uh, so now uh, let me just end this live stream and uh, let me bring in the music uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, uh, short live stream how you could utilize your iPhone 7 uh, plus camera or any iPhone camera uh, to live stream on YouTube and Facebook and also uh, uh, how you could utilize uh, your DSLR camera and external microphone uh, in conjunction with your iPhone uh, to do to create a multiple camera live stream uh, this is a very effective and cheap way of live streaming you don't need professional uh, hardware uh, to do it uh, I mean if you want to do it professionally then uh, uh, you need uh, a switcher like Atom 4K if you want to do a 4K live stream which I would not recommend uh, a live stream you can do uh, on YouTube and Facebook up to 1080p which is recommended by them uh, but if you want a professional solution you would need the Atom switcher Blackmagic that's the cheapest hardware I can think of uh, Blackmagic recently uh, they have released uh, a web uh, a switcher box uh, just for live streaming but that only live streams 
uh, up to 720p and you can switch between different sources sources are like camera laptop whatever you have connected to that box uh, but if you are interested in live streaming into 1080p resolution uh, at 30 frames per second then i would recommend getting a professional uh, black magic atom uh, switcher which which uh, is not that expensive that's the cheapest uh, capture card of multiple camera source uh, i can think of and it has got sdi uh, inputs as well uh, okay guys uh, hope you have liked this uh, short live stream about how you could utilize your uh, dslr camera and iphone 7 plus to live stream on facebook and youtube uh, if you if you have any questions then please ask uh, if you have liked this live stream then uh, let's aim for minimum thousand likes uh, if you haven't you can always dislike it uh, if you like my videos and my live stream please click on the like icon share the videos and subscribe to my channel i shall see you guys in next live stream and next videos take care bye bye